what does that say? Something island. Paul, Paulie's Island. Paulie's Island. I've never heard of that. I don't know where that is. Nice logo. Uh, oh, a Nike with no other thing to it. But where? where's Paulie's Island? I don't know. Next. Hillcrest Country Club. Don't know where that is. It's a bit of a, oh, it's a, bit of a scuff to it. That's probably unfixable. Uh, established 1920. Uh, and it's, again, unbranded golf ball. Next. TPC. Don't know what, what they are or what they do. Next. Air Comfort Incorporated. Air Comfort kind of makes it sound like it's air beds or something like that. Uh, one of these Acros balls. Yep, no idea what that business is. Next. Steel Case. Never seen that before or heard of it. Steel case. Uh, very good condition ball. No, don't know about anything about that. Next. CVC 1908. Or it could be V. So V Country Club. A v for what? A v Country Club? I don't know. As you can see, ball's been hit. Sometimes you get those marks when, it, when the ball hits a tree and, you know, like a thorn cuts into it. Uh, other than that, the ball's in good condition, but don't know what that logo is. Oh my god, I'm getting a dead leg sitting in this. Ah, I have to move. Oh my god. I've been filming for nearly 50 minutes now. Ah. So 50 minutes and I've done all those. Let's just show you, I've done all those. And I've still got those to do, Jesus Christ. So I've probably got at least another 20 minutes to go. So let's carry on. LG. And they promote themselves as life's good. That's not the name. That's like a slogan. LG, I believe, I mean, they make TVs and electronic stuff. LG, is it, is it Korean, South Korean? I don't think it's a Japanese company. LG, that's a good logo to have. Basically, I, I collect all kinds of logo golf balls, not just the big brands like LG or Lipton or American Airlines. I do collect some golf related ones. I do collect food related ones. You know, I don't I don't really have any collecting method. I just collect everything. Um, oh, that's a good one. Smiley face with a reg, half registered trademark. Uh, don't know what that is. Life is good. Life is good is a brand, is it? Okay. Um, so life is good. Hmm. Don't know what that, what that does and that's the second one of these logos i've had in this collection sunset golf yeah that's the same as the other one so i've got two of those let's put those two together next arkansas i always almost say it like it reads arkansas it does look like arkansas but how you turn that into saying arkansas where's the w so you should have a W on the end. Arkansas or Arkansas, I know you, that's why you say it. And you've got that wild boar as the logo. So I believe that's some kind of sports team again. So that goes up near there. Next. Where's the logo? There we go. European Cargo Services. Oh, what's that say before that? What does that say? ECS, I think. ECS, European Cargo Services. So I don't know whether that's like a trucking company or do they do air freight? I don't know. If it's air freight, I haven't heard of it and I'm into aviation. Yeah, I should say aviation is stuff I definitely want. So if you've got any airlines, uh, contact me. If you've got anything to do with, you know, like Lockheed Martin or Boeing, I definitely want stuff like that. That's one of my other hobbies other than collecting gold balls aviation right indiana farmers mutual insurance company oh garfield 
well that's good so I'd, 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 promote, I'd show the logo off on a wall or something so they've paid to use the Garfield logo in order to get you to try and buy that Indiana Farmers Garfield well I used to buy Garfield books when I was a kid yeah famously he used to like to eat lasagna didn't he next John Deere Credit the brand you can trust so obviously you can buy machinery on credit pay for it monthly for years I guess I mean when you see the price of combine harvesters and stuff I actually looked one up once I was looking up the model of a combine harvester I'd seen working a field in Cambridgeshire and even second hand they were like 300,000 300, so 300,000 pounds and in American money that's probably $350,000 $400,000 it's that's incredible so John Deere, I'll put the John Deere ones together. That's the third John Deere thing I've got so far. There's the three. Next. Turtle Bay. With like a wave for the um, logo. Turtle Bay. Oh, that was just a bit of dust or something there. Turtle Bay. Don't know what they do. No, That's made me think of Turtle Wax, but that's not Turtle Wax. Next. One of these U Pro USA golf balls, and the logo is Polynesian Cultural Centre. Wow, with the ship for the logo. Well, that's another place I'd love to go, Polynesia. Um, anybody rich watching this video, get in contact with me if you want to take me on a yacht somewhere. Next, Shadow Glen Golf Club Manor, Texas. I've been to Texas, do love Texas. All my respect to Texas. What a great place. Uh, don't know where that is though. Where is Shadow Glen? Manor. Well, where's Manor, Texas? That's not somewhere I've been. When I went to Texas, I stayed in Dallas-Fort Worth. And I went to absolutely loads of places in Dallas. We drove 600 miles a day for 10 days. So we did 6,000 miles in 10 days all, all around America. But mostly Texas, Oklahoma... Kansas and Nebraska were the main ones. I think we also briefly dipped into Missouri. Um, misery is our tour leader used to say. Next. Smith. Don't know what they do. Nice enough condition title list. Next. K-State, Kansas State University. Kansas State University. Well, I've been to Kansas. Um, don't think I saw the university when I went past. Unbranded golf ball. Next. Competitive Solutions, Inc. And it says something else. What on earth does that say? That is tiny writing. That's not a good logo design. Something like bog on and verse versteen or something. I don't know. Yeah, that logo doesn't work too well, does it? Back to the drawing board. Whoever designed that one. Next, Jack Daniel's alcoholic drink, whiskey, isn't it? So I've definitely had some of that. Callaway, slightly scuffed, but uh, the logo's fine. And of course, recently in the news, they've said lots of cancers are caused by alcohol. Alcohol does far more damage to the body than anybody has been willing to admit up to now. But now in 2021, they're finally willing to admit that alcohol causes a lot of different cancers in the body. Klein Tools. I'm sure I've seen this advertised. Uh, Klein Tools. I'm pretty sure I've seen that advertised on an indie car. Um, Jesco. Don't know anything about Jesco. Presumably that's some kind of shop retail place where you can buy tools. But um, yeah, Klein Tools. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that on an indie car. Next, CLD. Don't know what that is, what they do. Oh, that's a weird one. Top Flight XL3000 with a logo like that. I'm not sure whether I've had that type of ball before. 
super long. Oh, ooh, ah. We've got the John Deere logo on it as well. Services. Forestiers. Mont. Laurier. Don't know anything about that bit, but John Deere, so that's the fourth John Deere logo. Very nice. Getting a nice collection of John Deere ones. Next. Oh, that's that again. I've seen that on another board today, haven't I? So what would that be? It's like a hog. Red hog. What does that... What sports team is that? Um, there it is. It's up there, isn't it? So that is the same as... All the way to move. Oh. Uh, so it's that one there, isn't it? Oh, I've got it upside down there. That doesn't help, does it, Dave? All right. Um, oh, Arkansas. So that's the second one that's similar to that. Ooh, hold on, I need to move a few golf balls. They're moving on my leg. I'm running out of space to place these. Don't worry, I will find space. Let me just move a couple of them that are rolling onto me. And then I can carry on. Right, here we go. Let's carry on. Next. Con Agra. Well, it sounds like agricultural stuff, so could it be seeds? Could it be genetically modified seeds? I don't know. Maxfly DDH90, and that looks to have, is that an X out ball? When they do X out, what does that mean? I mean, I know it means it's like a reject ball, but why? Does it mean the weight of it's wrong, the compression was wrong? It can't be that the size is wrong, because surely they're made in mould. So, um, anyway, Conagra. Next. Dewars. Never heard of it. Don't know what they do. Um, yep, don't know what they do. Next. UPS. I'm glad I got this one. UPS, United Parcel Service. We get their planes coming into Stansted most days uh, just one or two a day and I obviously with me buying stuff on the internet I've had UPS trucks come to deliver stuff for me there's a lot less of them about than FedEx but they um, they obviously are still making decent money so UPS yeah I'm glad I got that one next Alcan that's aluminium foil to wrap food in I know that because we get that in England buy that in supermarkets so um, again that type of ball that dates it to somewhere like 1989 to 1991-ish next rainbow waste an American phone number never seen that before next Killian's Irish Red uh, sounds like a beer or something, I presume, but I've never, I've never seen that brand before. Oh, George, George Killian's Irish Red. Um, yeah, I might can only presume that's a drink. Next, Platinum Plus Ball, and the logo is. What does that say? Dun Dun Ruin. Stud. Well, horses would be in a stud, wouldn't they? So, some Irish place where they raise horses, I presume. Next. CBS. Now, would that be the TV company? CBS? With a logo like that? Could that be? Scuffed ball. CBS, nice enough logo. That's possibly a TV company. Next, Sitgo. Um, are they petrol stations? I think. So places where you go and fill up your car with petrol, diesel, and buy snacks, etc. I think that's what they are. It's like a petrol stations, we call them in England. What do you call them? Truck stops in America or something like that? Sitgo, I think that's what they are. Next. Smirnoff Signatures, um, well Smirnoff is vodka, don't know about Signatures, what that, what's, what that is, okay, next, D, 
Di Bordio with a heron as the logo. Nice enough logo. Ball's pretty good condition. Don't know anything about that. Next. What does that say? Again, that's not a good logo design. That's hard to work out. I think it says Jays. So Blue Jays. And what is that? Is that a sports team? I think that's a sports team. But I don't know what sport. USA. Uh, yeah, it just says USA, so... Okay. Next. Zone Labs. Well, Zone Labs, aren't they the people that make... Um, firewall. Zone Alarm Firewall. I think that's probably what it is. So, software. I think that's... I'll have to check, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Zone Labs... Zone Alarm Firewall... Ronald St. Vincent, don't know what that is. No, no idea about that bit, but Zone Labs, I'm pretty sure, is software. And make sure you've got a good firewall on your computers, folks. Um, the one that Windows provide you for free is junk. Put put a, put an alternative firewall on your computer. Get Zone Labs, Zone Alarm. Zone Alarm, you can get a free version of it. And um, it blocks incoming data and outgoing data from coming in and out of your computer that you don't want um, it's essential to have a firewall on your computer and as I said the, the, the Windows one lets too much information out of your computer Kettle One Vodka well I've never heard of Kettle One as a brand that's a Blata Ball next oh that's like a Panther as the logo. Uh, another one of these unbranded balls. So again, presumably that's a sports team. Who would that be? Is it Carolina Panthers? Or I don't know. Tell me what that is if you know. Now this is a really cool one for me. F-22 Raptor. I've seen those. Brilliant fighter jets. Stealth fighter jets. They've got a special, special paint that absorbs radar. And... Um, very expensive fighter jets. I know the F-35 costs about 100 million each. I'm not sure how much an F-22 costs, but probably similar. So F-22 built by Lockheed Martin, I do believe. There are no mulligans in combat. <laughs> Pro V1, so very good title list. That is a really cool one for me. That's definitely a keeper. That's going on display. I have to say, that's one of the ones that I wanted. This is what's getting so confusing. There's a whole load of these that I definitely didn't order. And then there's a bunch of these that I was probably going to order from this person. So I presume maybe some of the stuff I was going to order from him, mean, he's chucked into this, this bunch that he's sent me. So confusing. Next. Holton's LP Gas. Evart MI. Is that Michigan? Um, yeah, never heard of that. And that is on a Wilson Ultra. Okay, well, there's not too many more to go, folks. Maybe a couple of dozen more to go. So we're almost through this particular clay. Look at that. And imagine sticking that on your wall. Next. Um, what does that say? You and then there's a bit of a scuff there, I think, which is making it difficult for me to work out what that says. You something S Downs. Anybody know what that used to say? Uh, and that is on a Nike. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Look, Nike number three, and then it's got Nike number four. That's got to be a misprint ball, surely. Yeah, this is a misprint, isn't it? Look. Nike number four, and then right next to that you've got X Velocity. That's a misprint. They've 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 made a mistake on this ball. Look at that. Number three, and you've also got number four. So they've printed. Yeah, now well, that's got to be a rarity. Hmm, interesting. Next, Ohio State. Now, is that a university or is that a sports team? 
again one of these unbranded balls. Next, John Deere credit. I've already got John Deere a few times as you've seen. So farm machinery, perfect condition ball pretty much. Let's put that over there near to the other John Deere stuff. Okay, next. Um, AU. So what would that be? Could that be Arizona University maybe? You tell me. Uh, oh, this is on a branded ball. Wilson Ultra, so put that out there. Next. This is an old golf ball. Used to get these somewhere before 1986, 87. So this could date to like 1980 or earlier, possibly. Um, so top flight with Continental Group on it. Don't know what Continental Group do. I don't think it's Continental Airlines, is it? So that is an oldie. Oh, I need to move a few more balls that are falling on me. Hold on. Give me a second, folks. I'll zoom out so you can look at those while I move a few balls that are falling onto me. Okay, almost ready. Right, let's carry on. So next, Windsor Park. Well, Windsor, there's a Windsor in England, obviously. That's where the Queen lives, near London. Windsor Park sounds like a golf course. Where is that though? Is that is that England or is that an American one? Because all these balls have come from America, remember? So next, oh, that's brilliant for me. Manhattan Beard Distributors. When I got to America to JFK Airport, we were transferred to the hotel in Manhattan, and I remember that's the first time I'd ever seen in real life the Manhattan skyline. That was absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, the vehicle they'd sent to pick us up and take us there must have had some kind of coating on the um, window. So while I was going along filming with the camcorder thinking I was getting a brilliant shot of Manhattan, when I actually went to look at the video on a computer, um, all I got was a reflection of the window. So there must have been some kind of a, a coating on the window. I never got to film all the buildings of Manhattan. That was a shame. But it was brilliant to see anyway. Platinum Tour... Okay, Manhattan, that's a keeper, because I've been to Manhattan. Next, Kodak, slightly scuffed logos. That's going to be a swap, because I've got some brand new Kodak logo golf balls. Kodak, the camera company, used to make cameras and sell camera film when you used to load film into your cameras. Remember that before digital took over? Next, Sealmaster Corporation. Um... That's the type of ball. Don't know what seal mask to do. Next. Uh, this is a good one. This is one I did want to buy anyway. Um, some kind of old wagon. I've seen many Western films, John Wayne, etc. And these carriages were drawn by horses across the American West. So I love that logo. I don't know what business that's supposed to represent. If it does represent a business or what. But I like that one. Next. Oilers, isn't it? Isn't it the Houston Oilers, which is Texas? So that's a sports team. Uh, is that American football? Houston Oilers, I think. So again, one of these unbranded balls. So presumably, a lot of these sports teams seems to have logos. So maybe there was a collection of these balls, like you could get all the American football teams in one collection and hockey in another collection. So that seems to be what's going on. Next, Microchips Unlimited. Um, never heard of them, but... Um, so what do they do? Is that is that for microchipping pets or what? Microchips Unlimited, don't know. Next. Total, that's the French oil company. Again, you know, they make oil and petrol for cars and whatever else. Total next and i've already got this lifesavers um slightly scuffed logo this is uh, in england we have something called polo mints which are the same size with a hole in the middle presumably lifesavers are the same in america mints to suck on next 
Christie's Cabaret. Ooh, where's that? Christie's Cabaret. Don't know where that is. Never heard of it. And you can see, not too many to go, folks, to show this collection. Next, too. It's funny, he almost looks like Adam Ant. You remember that singer from the 80s? He used to have paint on his face like that. Who's that supposed to be? Does that say something? Yeah, it does. Something state. Um, Florida state. Florida state. Well, what is that? Is that a sports team? American football, maybe? Florida state. Okay. Next, ING. Well, we've seen that in England. That's some kind of financial thing, I believe. Don't know if it is an English brand, but um, yeah, that's definitely English. Or I've seen it in England, ING. Not sure exactly what they do. Next up, uh, Oldsmobile. Is this? No, it's not a Ryder Cup one. Uh -huh. It's just Oldsmobile. Okay, so Oldsmobile is the car brand in America. They're not sold in England, or I've never seen them. I've never seen an Oldsmobile dealership in England. Next, another John Deere logo. Um, good. Except, the, the, yeah, the, the proper John Deere logo is that, yellow and green. That's what's famously John Deere. And all their equipment that they make is painted that colour green. I don't know why you bother printing the logo black like that. It's a bit lazy, really. Next, the Flintstones. Cool. Used to watch that as a child. That used to be on TV somewhere between half past five and half past six in the evenings. I'd watch that. Fred Flintstone. Trademark Hannah Barbera. Flintstones, that is a cool one to have. Next. Mac Financial Services. Well, I know Mac are trucks in America, so huge, great trucks that you have. Financial Services. That's the type of ball. Mac trucks. Okay. And we don't get Mac trucks in England. Next, GE General Electric. They make all kinds of stuff. It's funny, actually. By total fluke, today I saw someone on the internet moaning about. It. They're saying like you've got General Electric engines on planes. They also make things like microwaves and washing machines and fridge fridges. And the person said, in the last two or three years, just about every GE product they've bought has, has failed. So um, they're quite scared of flying on a plane that's got General Electric engines. And I would be too. If they, if they can't make consistently high quality products, it does put you off thinking of them as a good brand. GE. Next. Uh, that's the M, that's for M&M's, the chocolates. I'm sure I've had some of those in the past. We do get M&M's in England now. We've also got something called, we have, we've had Smarties. Long before M&M's came to England, we had Smarties, which were exactly the same sort of thing. Coloured candies with chocolate in the middle. Next, I'm probably down to about just a dozen more to go in this collection. 2139th Open Champion. So this is going to be another Tiger Woods one. So that's the fourth, I think, of these Tiger Woods ones. Now, where were they? Oh, God, here we go. There we go. So let me just move one out of the way. So we've got one, two, three, four. Excellent. So I've got four from that Tiger Woods collection. I've already filmed that one. Right, next. Um... Is that Goofy or Pluto? Which was the dog? I can't remember. Anyway, Disney character. I don't think I've got that one, but I do have a collection of Disney golf balls. I've probably got at least 30 or 40 Disney golf balls. So Disney have certainly been making some money from flogging golf balls with logos on them. Um, oh, another car brand, Cadillac. Cadillac, yep, nice. Again, Cadillac is not a brand that's sold in England. Next, oh, this is a good one. Bill Clinton with a presidential, ah, okay. Presidential Retreat, Camp David. 
I've just bought a collection of golf balls that have got all kinds of things like the Pentagon and the official presidential seal. I'll have to check whether I haven't got, already got this one. I think I've already got a Camp David one, so maybe this is going to be a spare. That's good condition anyway. Next. Sea Star. So obviously a great big ship, shipping containers I presume. Okay, that's an interesting one. Next. Um, what's that supposed to be? C. What would that be? Looks like another of these sports teams, I presume. But I don't know what that's supposed to be. C. Would that be Carolina? I don't know. Next. LGT. Never heard of it, don't know what that is. It's got a crown as the logo. Scuffed ball, yep, don't know what that is. Next, Tabasco, that's a good one. Tabasco brand product since 1868, blimey. Avery Ireland LA, what would LA be? Is that Louisiana or what? I don't know. Uh, Tabasco, that's like hot sauce. I don't like hot foods. Very good condition ball. Next. Down to the last half dozen. Play winning golf. Cheat. <laughs> so the brand of golf ball seems to be cheat. Or it's some kind of weird novelty ball. Cheat and then play winning golf. That's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Next. Looks like a bull to me. Titleist and it says nothing, so I've got no idea what that's supposed to be. What business? Next. Now, this is one I definitely wanted, and I'm not sure whether I haven't already bought this off someone else. Patriot Golf Day, and it's got a fighter jet as the logo. That's why I would have wanted it. Anything to do with fighter jets, I would want. Patriot Golf Day, like that logo. And that's on a blatter title list so that is a really good one for me next just three balls to go in this collection wildcat jubilee 1961 to 2011 okay next riley's lighthouse 2003 Okay, and the last one in this collection I've bought off somebody, Wyndham Championship. Where's Wyndham? That's a good condition ball. So, whilst I zoom out and let you see the entire collection in one shot, um, underneath this video I'll write a little description. In that I'll include a link for you to click on. If you want to look at my other golf ball logo videos, Click on that link and it'll take you to my golf ball logo playlist on YouTube. So that's where I've got about another 40 videos for you to look through. Some of the videos only take about 10 minutes. Some of them take 20, 30 minutes, you know. Anyway, if you want to see my entire collection of a few thousand golf balls, um, click on that link. And if you like this video, click like, subscribe to me and don't forget to look at my other videos. And also let me know why have you watched this video? Why were you watching? Are you a golfer? Do you collect logo golf balls? Do you design logos for businesses? Um, let me know why you're watching the video. That would be helpful to me. Let me know how you found the video. How did you find this video when you're on YouTube? What words did you type into the search engine? Let me know things like that. Be, be as helpful to me as you can. And I will endeavour to answer any questions anybody has. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to sell my logo collection. I might to fund something I'm thinking of doing in the future but at the moment because of Covid I can't do it so um, at the moment I'm still collecting as you can tell I've only just bought these um, like I said I think I just paid about a dollar per ball for this particular collection of somebody plus postage plus you saw the customs fee so um, I'll count these up afterwards and see how many were in the collection but I'm still collecting so if you've got any golf balls for sale let me know um, I would most likely need you to list them on eBay so that if anything goes wrong, I can get my money back off PayPal. 
but let me know what you've got um, anyway for now thank you for watching folks Bye. oh I'll just quickly before I stop this video my next video is going to be a funny collection of golf balls I've just bought for someone drive them crazy dirty dozen golf balls and they've got uh, political figures printed on them like that <laughs> so anyway for now thank you very much for watching bye bye